Hello everyone. Okay, we're going to work on the. I'm going to work on this uh, starter. This is the uh, Odyssey 2000 and 2001 starter. Uh, my starter has uh, issue. I wanted to see what is going on inside it. Actually, this is a starter that, after checking, I am going to install. Uh, I've, I've removed it from my car. Uh, the, the location that you have to install it is here. This is the place that were the two nuts. One was here and the other was here. So the uh, starter was installed and with the two nuts I removed it. So here I'm zooming out so you can see where it was located in the car. Okay, so first we have to open open the three screws. So after that, there are two nuts. I, I, I removed the first one and then realized I have to record this and also the second one. So one was here and one was here, the two screws using the some uh, eight millimeter socket. Okay. So the two screws, we are just putting them aside. Now, using another screwdriver, after... Okay, so then... I remove the, those screws. So, here. Uh, I remove this piece. This is the bottom piece. Most of the time, the problem will be within the solenoid or inside the motor. So, I have to remove this, mm, this screw so this wire can be detached. Then I will work on, on the uh, solenoid. So, in order to remove the solenoid, we need one, two, and three screws to go open. So, first I have to remove this nut. to remove this wire and in order not to lose the nut just put it back so we can later on continue of course I'm gonna clean this connection so okay so this is done now because I've removed the two nuts this can be removed I can just pull it okay the armature is out okay so this has been removed. I'm going to work on this later. So let's now open the solenoid. For the solenoid, we need to open these three nuts. Nuts, and now remove. Okay, so this notch that you see this notch goes and with, within that piece of wire that's holding it okay so this can be removed easily it has a housing that's holding it so I'm just putting it back it's setting very nicely so I removed that but the whole purpose was to check the armature and the contacts and the brushes. So this was removed. Okay, so from here we remove it. Okay, these are the brushes. The brushes are, are supposed to have some length. Okay, so the best way to put it back, uh, in my opinion, would be to push this spring that's holding it up and uh, pull so I'm gonna push one brush a little up and until until it this spring reaches out of the area it's not pushing it so I've pushed it look at this this has pushed the brush down I'm pushing the brush up until Okay, so so 
and I'm pushing the other brush out. As you can see, the spring is on the side, not on the top. And in this one as well. Okay, so all the springs are on the side. Now, as you can see, we have empty room. Here's the other one. Okay, the armature in this area it gets very dirty, and also the dirt goes between these uh, two collector piece in between. So as I've tried to clean it, so look at this. This has been cleaned between the two. There is no dirt left, and also I've tried to put some uh, sandpaper and clean it, and then put extra grease and also on this side I put grease now I'm assembling it back okay so I'm I have to insert this area the rubber into the notch now as you can see I can insert it very easily but I have to remove every piece of this put the spring back into the position so it, it pushes the so I put it now this piece is pushing the brush look at this now mm -hmm. and this area I have to push this up so it can push see it was very easy now it's pushing that piece this piece up very easy okay good the last one I've pushed it very a lot outside so good now all the springs are pushing the brush the brushes okay so this area just got out so I have to put it back now when I insert it here the magnetic field inside this case the magnet will pull the armature and will remove the armature back from the brushes so I have to be very careful and I have to go with the piece together and I hope I can do it easily so I'm holding it from this side so it doesn't come very quickly and doesn't pull the piece yes okay now this piece is gone and fit into the position and the armature is now is in its location good we are done now it's holding it by the magnetic force okay Let's put the, the case back. So how do, how do I put this piece? This extra uh, piece that's on this side is covering that one. So I'm just putting it. I think I should put extra grease here. Hold on. Okay, so this is called the extreme the extreme pressure grease I think that's a good one to put it here although it might not have too much pressure but hey you don't lose anything okay so I, I press it now two nuts two screws are here this this has fit now don't worry about this extra edge this is not due to the screw this will be held through these two nuts that we are going to put okay so now the next the next step would be to put the 